Assalamu alaikum this is your computer science teacher Sir Fawad Akhtar Ansari today i discuss pre release material for october november 2022 and the variant number is 22 it is for both boards uh, computer code 2210 and 0478 so let's hop to the section of the pre release material scenario so basically it is about a uh, car parking management system that uh, organization offers a visitor to do the car parking and they allocate the space of maximum 20 cars so 20 cars can be parked in the parking and uh, the user can do the booking of the car parking in 2 uh, weeks means 14 days so this is a basic scenario so there are 20 car parking spaces and you may do the booking in for the 14 days means 2 weeks and the program must inquire of the visitor name along with the license number and it also allocate the parking uh, number uh, to the visitor so this is a general scenario now if we go through the task 1 so i have already summarized the key points that uh, that are helpful for the students so this is my solution of the pseudo code so task 1 what it says so the requirements of the task 1 data structure capacity for 20 parking spaces means we have to create an array uh, in which we can store 20 car parking and uh, two weeks indicates that they are talking about 14 days so we can create an array to store 20 parking spaces so i multiply 20 parking spaces with the 14 days to get the maximum car parking which is 280 it means i have to store 280 names along with the license number and we must do uh, the uh, we must provide the allocated number to the visitor and we must put the validation checks on the uh, on the required entry so our program gets lengthy but uh, this is a requirement so first step for the task one is the variable declaration so i declare the variable name of visitor so it will store 280 names then i declare the variable license number it uh, stores 280 values booking day 14 14 days hai, of course choice Uh, why I use the variable choice? I will explain you later on. Chosen day in which the day user wants to do booking, and new parking number will be generated. I will explain you further on in the uh, video. So just discuss about the variables only. So parking space number, uh, our parking space will be allotted in this variable. Then we must count days. Uh, and count maximum days and count visitor name this will be used for the validations so we can uh, restrict the user for the false input next is a constant i use the maximum day or the day maximum which are 14 days maximum car parking are the 20 so i consider it a constant then i started a loop over here the reason is that our uh, variable count underscore underscore days will be counted from 1 till 14 days and our booking day will be initialized as a zero which is the default value then i close the loop and then i started a repeat loop what does this repeat do it will clear all the uh, variables uh, and uh, initializes automatically whenever we start a new booking this is the purpose of this repeat loop because i use another repeat loop here it is so the purpose of this repeat loop is to process the entire booking system whenever the user requires so this is a heading of the car booking system then i ask the user to enter the day for the booking which is 1 to 14 whatever the user input the day between the 1 and 14 it will be validated so if the user does not input the days range between 1 and 14 that it will display invalid number and it will continue until user input the proper days okay let's test the program that i have already made
okay uh, now this is our day of booking let's suppose if i input 15 so it says invalid day number now the program restarts then if i input 16 it is again giving an error invalid day number so if i input let's suppose 5 which is in the range of 1 to 14 then it will ask me the name all right let's jump to the sudo code another validation is to check maximum day parking like if we have got full 20 parkings and if the visitor wants to do the parking booking and if it reaches uh, above the maximum parking which is 20 if uh, there are the 20 values so if there are above 20 values so we will not allow to do the booking so we will say parking not available next how the parking number would be allocated so this is a formula that and i use a variable new parking number how we will find out we will check a variable booking day which is by default zero we initialize it with the zero as you can see uh, above here in the loop if you remember here so we initialized here with the zero so default value is the zero so what it will do it will do the increment of one then our booking number will be uh, generated so this is a new parking number and we will display our message allocated number is then uh, next step is how do we calculate the parking space number how do we calculate it so uh, chosen day uh, let's suppose i explain you theory of this formula first of all so let's suppose if i choose day 5 i should here i choose the day 5 so what would happen my formula 5 is the chosen day and i will subtract minus 1 okay why am i am subtracting it because it will help me to generate the parking space number so 5 minus 1 becomes 4 so this 4 will be multiplied by the maximum parking number which is 20 so 4 multiply 20 becomes 80 what if you say that there are other numbers like let's suppose we have already booked three values or the four values so our chosen day will be set according to the given values like if i have booked three values so our chosen day will become 3 and we will do the increment of 1 so it will become 4 so we have got the value of 80 as you can see here so according to the formula we have to do the increment plus 1 so 80 plus 1 becomes 81 but if we have already done three bookings so chosen day is 3 and it will become 1 so it becomes 4 so in this scenario 80 plus 4 becomes 84 this is how our parking space number is generated next it will ask the name of the visitor as you can see here it has already calculated the space number and the parking space number and the allocated number now it is asking for the visitor name i input my name and then it asks the license vehicle let's suppose it is let's suppose any random number then okay i explain you here then after the generating of the uh, storing the name of the visitor and the license number our booking day has been accomplished by incrementing 1 now it will ask us do you want to continue and here i use the variable choice if the user says no and press n then it will ask the user do you want to delete all of the two week period in this condition if the user press y for yes or in upper case then our uh, day maximum will be counted which are 14 days so by default our uh, default value is the 0 so it will start the loop to count from 1 till 14 if the visitor Uh, uh for okay next is a visitor count name which are from, which are from 1 till 280 so it will do the uh, correction uh, it will do the uh, next step what is the next step name of visitor will be cleared why it will be cleared because we want if it says that if you want to delete the data i said yes i pressed y so it will delete the record of the name of the visitor and the license number 
and it will execute the loop. Here it will display that all records deleted and reset successfully. So this is a task one. Okay, here I added the key point. Remember if visitor press N for no, like here. What if user press N over here instead of Y? So what will happen? We will jump to the task two automatically. So this is the explanation of task one along with the along with the previous material. Okay, so this is how programs are our programs work. And uh, I will make a new video for the task two. Then we will discuss the rest of the uh, key points in the next video. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.